Hello guys, what up? This is Dr. Olive Alex and today's video is about you know answering all of the questions that you get asked regarding to you know the things that you encounter while using my presets. So the question that you guys often ask, you know, leave in the comment section is how do you use the preset? How do I get the plugins? How do I install the plugins? How do I import this preset? Why there is no any keyframe shown up? Why there is a big X thingy on the screen or a black screen? Why I can add multiple preset chain and etc. So I'll be answering every single one of the questions. And this video probably, I don't know, gonna last how long it will be, but don't skip this video because every single second I will explain in detail about using the preset and, and etc. So let's jump right into the first question <clears throat> is how to use this preset. So whenever I made an effects, you know, like the VHS presets or the transition preset. So I will basically list out the plugins that you need. Yes, sometimes you don't need plugins to do that effect. Um, but most of it, you will need the plugins in order to make it happen. So Vegas Pro, as we all know, it's a basic editing software. It doesn't come with any, you know, crazy cool, um, sort of effect so you will need sort of third party software in order to create all those cool stuff like the Adobe Premiere does you know those advanced software out there so um this is where you need the plugin so how do I install and get the plugin so in order for you to get the plugin you can download it through the link down below that I put in the descriptions which is the link will be directed you to the official sites of the plugins that I list out. For example like the Fire plugins, the BCC and the um, Niblu, the AAV Color Lab and so on. Um, sometimes I point out one plugins, let's say you have the plugin installed and then it's great. Um, but another question you got asked like, um, where do I get the full version? Okay, look, I don't put any pirate stuff here in the descriptions. If somebody else can get the full one, maybe you can try it out. You, you just need to find it by yourself, but I don't fully support, you know, pirate thingy. So do on your own risk. And, um, also, how do I install plugins? There's a tons of tutorial regarding on that on YouTube. You just need to search it up by yourself. Right, so basically plugin parts is done. Once you have the plugins properly installed in your Vegas Pro, you can proceed download my presets. So once you download my preset, it will come in sort of an archive, which is like this one here, for example. And in this archive file here, which is the WinRAW file, there will be two things inside the note file and the preset itself which is like this and um, you just basically extract this thing into your desktop and you will need to import this thing into your Vegas so how do you import the preset into a Vegas Pro so this is where preset manager came in now you can download preset manager 2.0 in the link down below and it's definitely free there's also another software uh, where you can import a preset in Vegas, which is I believe you call it Vegas or sort of thing, but I highly recommend you use preset manager. You can download preset manager in the link down below. Make sure you install this thing first, then you can proceed importing this preset file. So let's open it up real quick and let me show you how the UI basically looks like. So here is preset manager, and basically you, you press file and open and um, we're gonna open up the preset that you that you just download and extract to your desktop so here it is you press open wait it for it to load and here it is you, you press that thing double click on the effects change so here's all the preset that I um, put in this one sort of file so basically uh, you you press this thing and then you click copy to system automatically this thing will be transferred into your Vegas um, uh, directory so you don't need to copy this thing and paste to 
Vegas director it, it won't work so you need to use sort of software for it to properly place in the Vegas directory so this is where preset manager came in to play as you can see this is where all the preset are that I've created in Vegas so it's shown up like this so let's say if you want to import your own preset you can make it happen too by selecting on the effects change select any of this thing and press copy to file and then you just basically save as into whatever preset you want it to be so for that part I believe it done so let's jump right into the next one is um, why there is no keyframes on my video so this is the most highly asked questions on on the comment section and I got frequently asked you know so basically the way this thing work is when I create that preset probably my video is 10 seconds long for example and when I save it as the preset and I export it and when you download and import my preset remember the when I created things it was created in 10 second video of length which is the length of the video is 10 second and let's say your the video that you are working on is 5 second and when you import that preset into your video it won't show up. It look like as an empty preset. It's actually there. You just need to pull your video into 10 seconds and reposition. So let me show you real quick. So here I got a, a time lapse video, and it's just uh, probably around four seconds in length. So let's import some presets. I believe this one here. Let's add. Hit OK. All right, so here's some of the example. As you can see, there's no keyframes, and you guys freak out. Don't worry, it's there, it's just hidden. So how do you do that? You move your second clip away, and basically your video is four seconds long. Just stretch it out, it's okay. I know it's gonna loop out. It's gonna be looping, you know, it's, it's just only four seconds. You're just gonna stretch it anyway until it's probably about 20 seconds you press the effects chain again and there you go that's the keyframe it's over here so you basically select all of this thing I don't know how do you select this thing but it's kind of tough for you to select all in once when there's multiple chain when you're working it's okay we're just gonna do it one by one and then you move all the way to the back and do the same thing for the next keyframe here, which is on the bottom part. And then and there you go. And once you're done, you basically want to split your video. Okay, for example, it's over here. You press S delete that part and then you basically readjust it a little bit to the front and that's it nothing crazy so that's how you make the keyframe shown up right so for moving this you know preset it's kind of a little bit annoying because you need to do it one by one just kind of sometimes you, you end up messing up the keyframe so I highly recommend for you guys to make sure have a look for a while and then move from the top you know starting the top one and then move to the second one and finally to the bottom and once you're done moving it you press S don't readjust it back otherwise you will just basically reset the keyframe positions and once you're done you press s and then readjust it a little bit and put it till the end of your video here so basically that part is done another one is why does a big x thing appear on your screen i believe that things only happen if your sapphire plugin specifically for sapphire plugins is not in full version it's in if it was in free trial when you render up your video there will be x screen so like I said, you can watch somebody else's tutorial on how to install it properly. The same goes to the black screen and stuff. Now another question is why I can't add multiple chains. For example, you add this effect here. 
this uh, uh this transitions and then you, let's say you want to add another effect maybe probably not a transitions but a sort of vhs effect um for example this one here you press add and you hit okay and right away your previous transition is gone so how can this happen now in vegas you can't add multiple um preset chain in one video it can't be done so once you add another one automatically it will replace the one that has been already added in the video so in order for you to do that you can try to edit on this timeline instead on the specifically on the video but once you add on the timeline it will be affected all the all the entire video and that timeline so make sure you lay out which one goes first which one go later on so try to think how to overcome that so um i believe that's all the question right so if you have any questions more you can leave it down in the comment section and i'll try my best to help you guys out so um thank you guys for watching and have a good day see ya in my next video